What's up everyone? So today I'm going to be showing you my newest auction pickup or one of the auction pickups and uh, this is a Dell Inspiron 1 2305. It is an all-in-one with 1080p touchscreen and uh, I'm hoping that this is this is going to work out okay. I've, I've gotten a few auction items here lately that have not been working and all of these auction items that I buy are as is and uh, usually you're you're not going to know if they're working or not other than some of the Apple stuff then they'll get into uh, checking to find out if it's if it's working or not but uh, this one was sold without a power supply untested my thoughts are it's probably not going to work because that's usually the way it works um, whenever they have something like this and they say it's untested but uh, we'll find out together so on the side we have the power button, headphone jack, microphone jack, a couple of USB ports, compact flash, and some audio control. So on the back we have four USB ports, an audio jack, integrated network, and power. On the left side there's a DVD RW. Okay, so let's power it up and see if it's working. I'll be using a laptop power supply as this unit did not come with the 130 watt power supply that it originally shipped with. Uh, the power supply uh, that I'm using is a 65 watt, so well underpowered. May not even work, but let's try it out. That was weird. Uh, so the light on my power supply went dead as soon as I plugged it up. So I'm not sure if it's taking more power than it needs. Um, let's see if it'll power. Yeah, we're not getting anything. Okay, so there's two screws here and here. I'm going to try and take it apart. Start here. Okay, let's see how we get this apart. Oop. Ah, so this just slides up. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so let's see here. Looks like this is going to be your inverter, and something important under here. Let's take a look at it and see what it is. Yep, somebody's been in this before. See that hard drive disconnected, and the power's disconnected. So, somebody's tried to work on this before. Oops, I just lost that one. This is going to shift forward. Yep. Okay. So under here looks like we have the motherboard. It's going to be your memory, heat pipe, got a SATA connection, two SATA connections, and some other power bits. Set this to the side. Mm, let's try receiving the memory. Actually, let's take the memory out. Plug it up and see if it does anything. Same thing. Okay. So that's not the answer. Let's see here. Let's put that back in. Uh, what is... Looks like the GPU is right here. There is no, if that's the GPU, there's no uh, cooling on it. So I'm hoping the thing's not burned up. Okay, this goes around to the, oh, I see the problem. I see the problem.
don't know if that's worse or better. Let me point it out to you, then I'll I'll put some more light on it. Right here, this board is burned. Uh, I'm not sure what this is, unless it is. Let's see, it's two SMDs. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what they're for. Uh, my guess is this. Uh, someone please correct me if I'm wrong because I'd love to know what this part is because I guarantee you this is the issue. Um, I shouldn't say guarantee, but I'm certain this is the issue. Uh, I'm guessing this might be a bridge rectifier. Not sure. That's just a guess. But if you look right here where it says PR40, there is some brown, what looks like burn marks. And then... Yeah, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this this top and this side also look burned. Let me put a light on it and see if you if that helps any. I'm not sure if it will or will not. Let's see if I need to zoom in on it. Oh, that helps. So as you can see, there is some burning there. So this is probably the issue. Uh, let's just check and see. So we've removed this from the equation. Let's put it in here. Here we go. Okay, you see the lights going. Oh, uh, look at that. Okay, now, let's see if we get any fan activity. There it goes. Cool beans. Okay, so, uh, looks like that's gonna be what we need, this uh, inverter board for the display. So the next video you'll see on this will be the replacement inverter. Hopefully I'll have that in a week or so. Alright everyone, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to each other. Goodbye.